Okay, next up is the copyright file and this is one of the most important files you need to get right. Um, first we, we need to point out where we downloaded the code from. That was ftp.gnu.org. FTP now we need to list all the upstream authors. In the most cases, um, you can find an authors file in the in the tarball. Yeah, we can add does have one as well. So we will list them all here. A little bit of formatting. Okay. So the copyright is is the most critical thing to get right. You need to point out all the copyright holders of the code, so you need to look at all the individual files in there. What we're going to do is um, just look at the, the headers of the C files. So I'm using find for that. And as you can see, we have two copyright holders you also need to, to point out the years of the of the copyright. And you can see in the copyright is roughly the same in, in, in all the in all the C files. You need to be much more careful when you do this yourself because the archive admins will check this thoroughly. Also, you need to make sure to to list all the the license text. As you can see, the HMAC provided us with um, GPL version two, so we're going to update it to GPL three. And we can remove that bit. Sometimes you will find that. Um, two or three files of 400 are on a, a different license, but you need to point that out in, in the copyright file, else the, the archive admins will be really angry. Okay, and the last bit is the, the rules file. If you want to understand it thoroughly, you need to, to know a bit about how make files work in general. Debian rules is a make file, and um, it will during the build, certain targets are, are called, like the build target, the clean target, install target, and so on. All the dh commands in there are um, deb helper commands. And you can see that deb helper makes a lot of tasks, tasks very easy. Installation of change logs, building the deb file, generating MD5 sums, and so on. Okay. I guess we're, we're nearly done. We're going to generate the, um, the source package now. For that we call dbuild minus capital S minus SA. Now it asks us to, to um, to sign the source package. So we enter our GPG key. Okay. As you can see, in addition to the oric.tar.gz, there's the divgz and the dsc file. Now we're going to try to build it. We'll use pbuilder for that. pbuilder will now use a minimal environment, then install the build dependencies we, we just specified, and, and build the package in there. compiling right now and it's done. So let's take a look at the, the generated depth file. 
as you can see, the maintainer install size, the depends is just libc6. Lib this was automatically generated for us. The description, and as you can see, the, the change log was automatically added. Um, there's an info page and the add binary. As I pointed out in the beginning, this is just a very, very brief and short example. Mant maintaining a package means much more. So what you're going to do is you will add man pages to it, add documentation, configuration examples. You try to improve it and make it the best user experience you, um, you can make. And also maintaining means that you're in touch with a lot of people. You're going to talk to the upstream maintainers of the project. You're going to talk to users, to other maintainers of the package. So it's a very responsible role and not just uploading a package so it's included. But this was just the first package and I hope you had the fun that I had.